In this tutorial series, we will teach you how to make portfolio return and risk calculations. And we have organized this as a two-part uh, tutorial. So today, in the first part, we will learn how to compute portfolio returns. And in the next tutorial, we'll be talking about portfolio risk. So without further ado, let's begin with portfolio return. And I would like to begin with a simple example and start uh, you know, straight away uh, with some simple portfolio return calculations. Now, we have an investor who would like to invest in a portfolio of two stocks, stocks A and B. And this investor will put $200, into $200 into first stock, and that particular stock is uh, going to yield 10%. By the way, we can either interpret this as expected return, so for the future, or realized uh, return, which is the historical return. The calculations won't really change. So the same formula will apply for both portfolio expected return and portfolio realized return, okay? So the first stock yields 10% and stock B, so the investor will invest more money into this uh, particular stock, $800 to be specific, and the second uh, stock is expected to yield 6% uh, return. Now, what we are interested in is the portfolio of A and B. So what's the return for that portfolio gonna be? So that's what we want to uh, compute. So first of all, how much in total are we gonna invest in this portfolio? Well, it's easy to answer. If we invest $200 in stock A and $800 in stock B, in total, we are investing $1,000 in this portfolio. The very next thing you need to do is to find out the investment weights for each stock, right? So we have two stocks in this case, so we will calculate two investment weights. But if you had a 10 stock portfolio, you would need to know the investment weight for uh, for each of those 10 stocks. Um, so how am I going to co compute the investment weight for stock A? Well, if I put 200 out of thousand dollars then the investment weight is 20 percent right and it is easy to see that the investment weight for stock b will be eight percent right so because i'm putting eight hundred dollars so the remaining amount in stock b and that will have an investment weight of eight percent so this is step number one done okay and the final step is really to compute the portfolio return. And portfolio return is simply a weighted average of the individual returns. And those weights are the investment weights that we have just computed. So the return of this portfolio, let's call it RP, right? Return of the portfolio will be the weight of the first asset times the return of that asset plus weight of the second asset times return of the second asset. So this is a weighted average of the individual returns. Now I can put in the numbers. So 20% uh, for uh, stock A, which yields 10% return and 8% for stock B, which yields 6% return. Right. And I believe this will be, so this is 2%, 4.8%. So this, this must be 6.8% if I've done the calculations correctly. But actually, luckily on our website, we have an, a very easy to use online portfolio return calculator, uh, which we, we can verify our calculations, right? So you can find the link in the video description. I would highly recommend you check that also to verify your answers in general. And let's see if we have done the calculations correctly. So the first stock, the investment rate is 20% and the return is 10%. For the second stock, 8% weight and 6% return. And that's it. So I don't have any other assets, but you know, if you had other assets, you could include that in those calculations as well. But in this case, we only have two stocks. 
So the ads, sorry, the weights add up to 100%. So I can double check as well, which is important. And my calculation was correct. The return of this portfolio is 6.8%. So you can use this handy calculator to make quick portfolio return calculations. I would like to give you one more example. And after that, I'll show you the general portfolio return uh, formula as well. So let's build up our analysis. So originally, we had two stocks in this portfolio. Let's add one more stock, right? So originally, we had invested $1,000 in total. So let's double the size of our portfolio by investing £1,000 in stock C. Now the question is, what will be the return of this new portfolio that consists of three stocks? Right. Again, begin with the investment weights, which is step one. So uh, what will be the total investment? So I had originally 1,000, now another 1,000. So in total, I have invested $2,000 in this portfolio. So the investment weight for A is 10%. Why? It is 200 divided by 2,000. Okay. How about... The investment weight for B now is going to be 800 divided by 2,000, and that should be 40%. And finally, oops, so weight of C, investment weight of C, should be the remaining 50%, right? Because the weights will add up to 1, and indeed 1,000 over 2,000 is 50%. Now I can compute the portfolio return. So weight of A times the return of A, weight of B times the return of B, plus weight of C times the return of C. So put the numbers in, 10% times the return of the first stock, which is also 10%, okay, plus the weight of the second stock, 40% times 6%, and 50% um, for the third and new stock, and it has a return of 12%. Okay. Again, I can easily use uh, the calculator I mentioned earlier to find the answer, right? So now I'm using, uh, a th I'm working with a three asset portfolio, 10% weight, 40% weight, and 50% weight. The weights add up to 100%. And here are the return observations. And the portfolio return in this case is 9.4%. And like I said, you can either use expected returns here or realized returns. It doesn't really matter. So it works both ways. After seeing these two examples, now let's see the generic portfolio return uh, formula in mathematical form. So the formula looks like this. Okay, looks a bit scary, but it's very easy to understand. So the sigma symbol here is the summation symbol, right? So it tells us basically to multiply for each stock in the portfolio, to multiply the return of that portfolio with its investment weights and add them up. So this is the general formula for a portfolio of size N, right? N can be 100, 200, whatever. In our examples, in the first example, n was 2, and in the second example, it was 3. So this means that the, you, you, start, you start from the first stock and go up to 2 or 3 or more if your portfolio is large. So the, for the fo two, two stock portfolio, portfolio return is going to be the investment rate of the first one times the return of the first one plus the investment return, sorry, the investment rate of the second stock times the return of the second stock. If there's a third stock, we add this new term. If there's a fourth, fourth stock, sorry, fourth uh, stock, you add this term and you get the idea. Okay. All right. So before we finish, one final thing. Here is uh, some. Uh, exercise for you for to test your knowledge. So here we've got Jane, who is an investor. 
and she has identified two different portfolios and uh, she knows that they have the same amount of risk. So she would like to make a choice between those, these two portfolios and she wants to choose the one that yields the highest return out of the two. Now to test your understanding, uh, you can compute the returns for those two portfolios and see which one is the highest and that's what Jane should go, go with. Okay, You can find the solution on our website in the same page where uh, we have our portfolio return calculator. Okay, that's it from us uh, for this tutorial. Uh, like I said, in the second uh, part of this tutorial, we'll be talking about portfolio risk. Uh, you can uh, find the link to that tutorial in the video description as well. I hope you find this tutorial uh, helpful and see you in the next video. Bye for now.